it feels early into this podcast, man. I'm just letting you know. You just want to jump right into it. Yeah, let's jump right into it. That's good. It feels like you're done. I got a lot of them is the problem. Okay. How many you got? One, two, three. How many do I have? Four, five, six, seven. I have like eight or nine. Ooh, nice. Uh, I have one, two, three. It's good. I'm going to combine those Good two. podcasting. Four. Count them out. I already gave one of my bull predictions. So I have seven. Okay. All right. So then I'll go first. Oh, uh, a little ping pong? You want like a little this. ping Let's pong? Let's ping pong it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll go with the, the one that I... The, so I suggested you we should do a bull prediction. Because you've been... Yeah, because I have one prediction that I wanted to make. The Phillies are going to win the World Series. It's my boldest. I refuse to do that this year. I'm not doing that again. Don't really? I, oh, it's a Seltzer special. I, I, Eagles, I, But Phillies. they didn't win it. They didn't win it. So I'm not doing that. I think Aaron Noel is going to win the Cy Young this year. How about that for a bold prediction? I think it's really bold. I don't, like, here's the thing. I think Aaron Noel is going to be awesome this year. Okay. I think Nola is going to bounce back. You look at the history of his career. Every single freaking year, it's on off. He has a bad year or, or, a, or a lesser year, mm -hmm. and then he bounces back and has a great year. It is just the way he's done it. Last year, off year, mechanical adjustment. He's set. He seems like, I don't I don't believe this for a lot of people. I don't think you just get the money and, and you're good or you're set or whatever. Tywan Walker, a nice example. But Aaron Nola feels like the kind of guy to me who is like gets his money, gets set, and just kind of settles in. Like I, I, I think there was pressure on him last year. I think that's kind of gone now. He just knows where he's going to be. He's a creature of habit. I think Aaron Noel is going to be a freaking awesome, awesome pitcher. So I'll go bold prediction number one in in contrast to that. Uh oh. I think Ranger has a better year than Nola. Wow. Yeah. So I have Ranger. I have Ranger. I have a bold. I'll just bring my, my Ranger one is similar, but I said Ranger will exit the year being looked at as a two rather than as a three. Okay. Nash, like everyone will be like, oh, he's a two. Well, so I think if I had to bet right now, I think. I think we get a two nine year from Wheeler, so I think Wheeler's under three, mm -hmm. and I think that both Ranger and Nola are under three five. Wow! So I think Nola's gonna have a really good year. I like the way he's throwing in spring training. Like, um, you know, one thing that looks a little bit different is he just he looks like he's throwing through the catcher rather than to the catcher. So you know, like it just looks like there's more conviction on his on like his fastball and stuff like that. And I agree with you. Like I think I think the 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 confidence is there. I just like JT talked about Ranger. Uh, Dude, I'm don't get me wrong. Again, I have a Ranger one to him. All in on Ranger. I know. But, Ranger's been lights out. I don't care about spring, but he's been lights out. Oh yeah, no, you don't care about spring lights until out. it. He has to give him a run. He has to give him a run. Classic WIP, whatever fits. <laughs> I your really narrative. don't care about spring, but he does look good. So, but but uh, JT was talking the other day about how like he feels like Ranger is back to like that that super command guy which he kind of got away from last year like he was yeah he did again like the ranger i don't know man I, maybe i'm watching a different picture but like you know we, you got a fancy draft over the weekend i couldn't believe it i got him in the 22nd round i think and christopher sanchez went in the 21st or 20th round and it's like i love christopher sanchez like taking him over ranger is is crazy well, and also like given what ranger's done in the postseason so I, and again, this is also Rangers' first in a couple like actual spring training where he's been there. He's ready to start the season. Well, and like, I I feel like it's hard to light up Ranger. Like Ranger I agree will with have you. his outings where it's four runs or whatever, mm -hmm. but it's I feel like it's never six runs, like a ten run outing or whatever. Yeah, yeah like, I agree he, with you. He, he's competitive enough. He's got a very high floor each start for sure, for sure. So, but I just I think that this is the year that he finally like gets on the map and. Like I think we see Ranger as really good, and the rest of baseball doesn't. You know that's why, it's why I think it's perceived around the league of like, oh man, the Phillies rotation isn't that good. Meanwhile, like everyone has them as a top three rotation, mm -hmm. even with Ranger as like the number three. So I'm excited about Ranger this year. I what JT said about like guys that have stuck out, and he mentioned Ranger. Um, like I just I think we're in for one of those. I'm here. Love it. And I, I can't wait. I really do feel great about the top three. And I know it's not a yes. bold thing to say. You just said it. You think all three are going to have good years. But I, more than I ever have. Like, mm -hmm. I feel super duper confident about Wheeler, Nola, and Ranger. Honestly, it's the thing on the Phillies I feel the most confident about is the, is the trio at the top. Like, of all the aspects of the team, I am most sure that Wheeler, Nola, and Ranger is going to be one of the best top threes in baseball. My second Ranger uh, bowl prediction. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> um, I got two. So... I've said this every year, and I'm going to speak it into existence. He's going to throw a no-hitter this year. Oh, like, yeah! Every year. Uh, you just, listen, Ranger Suarez 
has the look of a no hitter guy. You also people don't remember this, but you said that a Detroit Tigers pitcher. You didn't know which one, but you said a Detroit Tigers pitcher will throw a no hitter for the Phillies last year before the season, which was unbelievable. Did so. I? Yeah, I'm sure I did, <laughs> and I appreciate you remembering that. There's definitely no audio. I'm excited. You did do the Ranger thing last every year. year. So it's no, kind, I'm of, gonna, kind of a little until, less impressive when you say it every year. Until, until it happens. I'm going to predict <laughs> I it. I like it. Because and it's it's the same theory I had with Jamie Moyer. Like, Jamie Moyer, during that stretch, would, like, randomly flirt with a no-hitter, like, once a year. Mm -hmm. It'd be, like, the eighth inning, and, you know, be like, oh, a 42-year-old Jamie Moyer is, is currently working on a no-hitter. Like, I could just see Ranger... In like an hour and fifty eight minute game. Oh, totally. In the middle of July against whoever. Totally. The, the team doesn't want to be there, and he's just like is mowing people down. And he, it's like a seventy five pitch. He's like through eight with no hits and seventy five pitches. Yeah, yeah. Like, what is happening? Right exactly. Now? Yeah, yeah. I Ranger Suarez is going to throw. Him. I, I look. It's a good take. I like it. All right, uh, my next one. You've mentioned his name multiple times today already. Ooh. JT. Okay. You just brought him up. Yeah. And this is an incredibly bold prediction. I'm using it more as a way to gush about your you speak, I believe speak about oddly enough the the uh, uh, mechanical adjustment I'm Ooh. seeing in spring training that makes a difference. You but seem do, like a big spring training. I think this thing guy. matters. I think that the the leg kick thing matters. I think the bat. Guy? I know. I think it matters. So this this probably won't happen. But I'm uh, so here's my bold prediction. And again, easy catchers it won't happen. But I'm gonna break the JT leads the team in RBI this which is basically my way of saying I think he's going to be the four-hole hitter all season long. I think he's going to grab the four-hole spot and run with it. He won't lead the team. He was like 40 RBI behind uh, Schwarber last year. Like he, He's just not going to get enough playing, not playing every day and all that. It's so unlikely, but I'm going bold because I think JT is your cleanup hitter all year long. I think he's going to thrive there. I think he's the perfect guy to bat behind those guys at the top. I think JT is going to thrive in the cleanup role. So I also have a JT. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's, it's it's annoying that we're on the same page with uh, all this it's stuff. Beautiful, that's fine. That is. it's beautiful. I think that JT finished the, finishes the highest of the big three, really, in MVP voting. Whoa, that so that's a that's even bolder than mine. I, I think. think mine's I, bold. That's pretty bold too. I, I think he finishes higher than all of them. Wow, so you think he's the best chance to win MVP this year? Wow, I love that's that. That is a bold. That is bold. Well, bold. and the other thing is that. He, so we're all in on J as a podcast. We could not seems be like wearing a JT. A, <laughs> seems like a problem. <laughs> Bet against JT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a short JT if you can. But what he could be doing, I mean, what's also on the table for him, and I think this is actually what he's more concerned about, or not more concerned about, but I think it's on his mind, is getting another contract here. You know? Yeah, so he it's has about that time, you're right. He has this year and he has next year. So if he goes out and has like an unbelievable year, they go on a run, he he catches a lot, proves he can stay healthy, there's no decline in his game at age thirty three. You know, they could extend him this offseason, so he's not end entering into his last year with the Phillies. So maybe like a two-year extension on, on top of you know his last year, so he's three years after this year. But I, I think that's on the table for JT. Man, the 2028 Phillies are going to be just... So old. <laughs> going to be so old. <laughs> going to be a bunch of like 37, 38-year-olds running around out there. Right, JT's still catching. <laughs> I know. But it's just like, yeah. And, and it's like you're trying not to make the same mistakes you made from 07 to 11. I know, but it's, it's so the, hard not to. You but love it's so you hard not to. I love them. I yeah, love they're not guys. allowed to leave. I know. They're, they're, I we're going to give him Schwarber an extension. He's going to be a leadoff hitter. <laughs> I know. It's going to be like, oh, you hated him as Leo Fitter when he was 30. Wait till he's 40. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, they're never allowed to leave. Right. Dude, Cassianos is never allowed to leave now. Do you, you see that clip in the dugout the other day? No. So I guess the um, uh, the 17 year old kid's dad uh, won as a part of the fantastic auction. He won uh, the opportunity to manage one of the spring training games. That's very cool. It's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. And. He's talking. I would just make so many moves. I'd be like, you're hitting. Yeah. Get in there. Pinch run. <laughs> He's probably not allowed to make a move. I'm, if I had sure, to I'm sure. But Cassianos was talking to him in the, in, the lot, in, the, in the dugout. And Cassianos at one point goes like, oh, so you're managing today? He's like, yeah, I'm excited. He's like, don't bleep it up. <laughs> very, like, very seriously. <laughs> but it was like he, he had just enough sarcasm on it that it was. It, both intense, yeah, well, he's but the, funny. He that we've talked about this, but like he's one of those people who, both because of the content of what he's saying and the way he delivers it, like you never know if he's joking. Exactly, he's like an all-time. I don't know if you're serious or not, guy. And those are the best. Takes one to know one. Yeah, it's true. You are you are the king of everyone I've ever known. These bold predictions are yeah. serious. <laughs> I'll give you That's my serious. So speaking of it, this this if I had one bolt like. I believe in my list. 
there's one prediction that I, I'm not going to say I believe in strongly, but I felt like I wanted to give Nick Castellanos some love. So okay. I do have a Nick. Then Nick Castellanos hits 35 home runs. 35 is a lot. He hit 29 last year. I know. He wasn't even that good. Well, he, <laughs> he was good in the first half, stunk in the second half. I think the power is real. We saw it in the playoffs. I don't think he's actually at 35, but I think he's going to hit over 30 home runs this year. Listen, I will take 280. Oh, my God. 25. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. A second. And, like, yeah. just <laughs> nice bottom of the line. He hit 29 homers last year. I know. And then if you take the playoffs, like, it's a freaking beast. I'm well, just saying. I mean, just four saying. of them happened in two games. Just saying, Jack. Just, all right? I'm just, I'm just saying. Four saying of those all right, buddy? Games. And how yeah. about this? How, this, is my, this is my only thing that I care about with Casio. Uh-huh. Don't expand the strike. <laughs> I know. Don't like, chase. When you just, see spin, just just lay off. Just, when, Don't swing. When you see spin. Honestly, take a deep breath. Just yeah. Just assume that if you see spin, it's a ball because they're not going to throw you a strike. No. Like just just assume no. until they throw you strikes. Like just don't swing. The Castellanos, the Castellanos, turning around a hundred off Strider. Strider's immediate reaction, the ballpark. Ah, oh, just a great moment. Amazing. When we get to see it again, I know. Days. Well, probably Friday. I don't know if it's going to live up to the same. No, I don't think it'll be quite as jacked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hold on. If they play on if they do play on Thursday. Yes. I mean, it's supposed to be Powder Blue Thursdays. Oh. So, hey, why, why are we opening the season in the Powder Blues? They have to though, right? Are they I not? Don't, I don't know. They have to. I don't think they will. I don't think, I don't they, think will. they will either, but they should. That's it's outrageous. Traditional it's better like any uniform other. anyway. Like what are we doing here? Yeah. It's the best thing we got going in this city is those Powder Blue uniforms. Well, like, that's pretty bold. What else is better? What's better than the Power Blue uniforms going on in Philly right now? Kelly Green uniforms? You do you would take Kelly Green over the Power Blue? I mean, I like Kelly Green. I think the Power Blue are the best uniform in sports. Two one five five nine two. <laughs> you know, I think it's the best there is, man. I don't think there's anything better. All right. I feel strongly about this. All right. Uh I'll give you another one. Well, I, mean, I guess I'll give you another one. So this one I actually I actually think this is a really fun, bold prediction because you'll hear it and you won't th- you're like, no, oh, it's not that bold. But it is actually quite bold. Trey Turner will get 200 hits this season. Why okay. is that bold? Why? He's never done it. Really? 195 is his high career high. Wow. And Jimmy Rollins, the last Philly to get 200 hits back in 2007. So it has been, this will be 15 years. Yeah, 17 years. Good math. 17 years since a Philly has hit 200 hits in a season. Trey Turner does it this year. So... Good one, right? It's a good one because I was thinking this morning. I've never done it. I was shocked by that. I looked it up. I'm like, oh, I wonder how many times... 195 was high and actually led the league that year, 195. So okay. people just don't do it. It's just not too many walks, right? Not enough hits anymore. Yeah. But so, well, because I was thinking about Trey this morning when, you know, putting this whole list of bold predictions together because I wanted to say, <laughs> I wanted to say, <laughs> what did you want to say? I yeah. wanted to say that Whit Merrifield would lead the team in hits. Ooh. But I was like, well, that's probably a problem for Trey, mm-hmm. who I also have having a 30 30 season. Oh, there it is. 30-30 season, baby. So between us, if he gets 200 hits, 30-30, maybe we should predict MVP for Trey Turner this year. Well, I don't know if you heard. JT's finishing higher. Than <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. And, and we got real contradictions going on. Really scrub great. Bryce. We'll see what he can I he Just can so you know, out. I, too, do my predictions with no thought for the other predictions. Like, there is absolutely a prediction where it's like, well, that contradicts the one you said before. I'd be like, well, right. it's it's their individual it's, predictions on their own. It's like right. shooting fish in a. Bit. <laughs> That's right. You know, yeah. if, we can, if I hit one of these, I'll be. Excited. If we can hit yeah. one, if I hit the ranger one, it's a, yeah. the well, ranger no hitter. We'll play that audio. Oh, I care about. Forever. Um, but yeah, no, I just. Uh, the Trey lead the he, 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 well first off should I mean if he doesn't that's probably an issue yeah I agree it's also showing a little vote of confidence and wit like I think I got a wit one coming well I just I'm trying to th- I mean by the way I know Rojas made the team and Pache made the team mm-hmm. which is like just a smart hedge why not that's what I didn't understand the whole time people were saying well it's got to be one or the other I was like why I was like is Jake Cave that valuable like <laughs> Jake Cave by the way looked pretty pissed to be not rocky. psyched to be right <laughs> yo honestly though if you're jake cave like you should be bro like if you if you want any chance to have actually anyone pay you for a couple years or whatever go break in colorado like what are you talking about like he should be ecstatic to be in Colorado. he's gonna play more and he has a chance to actually put up some numbers like i wouldn't be as upset if a you know quad a jake cave quad a, he's the king of quad a. oh no i'm better yeah. spring training goat yep. quad a jake cave but so like, also the oldest looking 31 dude, year old. It's unbelievable. Incredibly old. <laughs> like, it's like those people have like white hair their whole life. I just wonder, so with with Merrifield, they, they signed him for $8 million, which is not nothing. Not so nothing. they clearly wanted to play. Eight and a half, I think, right? I just, 
do they want him to play enough? Because part of the selling point on Merrifield is was the versatility. Well, versatility, but also if you don't play him every day, that gets the most out of what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's older, and you want to kind of preserve but, him. But also, like, I mean, Marsh Merrifield is probably the best thing they got. I know offensively, best it is. lineup. Yeah, offensively. I, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, there's a big difference. I mean, Marsh in left and Ross in center defensively is significantly better. So, 100. percent But yes, but Offens- also, offensively, which, which do you think helps the team more? I, honestly, I think he, I I don't know. Oh, like, I, yeah, so defense matters, a, Fritzy. You're such a defense, defense guy. matters, Fritzy. Um, I think it probably. I think I'd probably lean the bat way because, but like, I don't know. We. Like I've seen Merrifield play a lot of second base. I haven't seen him play a ton of the outfield. I know he's done it the last few years. I haven't seen him in my own eyes. I don't know how how he is out oh, there. Well, he's got no, probably competent, not a but great a, arm. not great. Yeah. You know, Whit Merrifield so. is a guy who can stand in left field. Yeah, and, great. and but it's been, like to be fair. Yeah, I, we're talking more than Kyle Schwarber. Or Reese we're Oscar talking today, about two, two people <laughs> and a fan. I mean, we have had the left field of, like, of a horror story. Yeah. I do. It, uh, can you move? Yeah, which which an upgrade? Well, no, 100%, no, 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 no. So I, I think it, look probably. I don't know. I think it's probably the bats, but it, I I don't I don't know. I do think I I think you're underrating the value of defense here. Dude. I'm not underrating the value of defense. I'm sorry, you know, I'm, I was thinking about new getting, age baseball guy. I was thinking about you. getting a little spicy with some Brandon Marsh uh, bull predictions. Oh really? I'm trying to like I don't know because I'm like, I was like thinking good, good gold Glover in left field. Oh wow, he's he's a, he's a he stud. Could be, left he was field. supposed to be the center fielder of the future. He I could know. be sure. I know, and I just. Not surprising. We're in on a lot of fills. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in on Marshy, man. Like, yeah. Marsh is, dude, yeah, Marsh yeah. was great last he, he year. The highest OBP on the team. Which is, oh, other than Harper. OPS. OPS. Yeah, yeah. Right? OPS. I think OBP, too. Really? Definitely OPS. Dude, even sure. he, he was one of the guys that had an 800. He had a really plus. high OBP, too. He, yeah. Brandon, and he walked a lot more last year than he did yeah. the year before. Like, good player. There's a good player there. Um, And I just, I'm, I'm excited for year three three of Brandon Marsh or year two and a half, I guess. We want to yeah, and technical. he's shown real growth too. Like, you know, the hitter he was when he first got here. Yeah. He had a three seventy two. Oh, I was right. So he had the second best OBP on the team after he, Harper last year. So I know he had we, a three seventy two on base percentage last year. Brandon Marsh. We never Think talked, about that. I mean, that's crazy. He never gets talked about. As a yeah. Eight twenty nine OPS was the second best on the team. Slightly above Schwarber. Like he was like, obviously he didn't play as much, but he was their second best hitter when he played, which is insane. And they think never played him against lefties. I know. So we'll see, but I just—he looks good in the spring. I'm so glad that the the knee injury is not a, an issue. It, 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 could there have been a more annoying story than that? Oh, he's not ready to start the year. Should I have the surgery early? It'd just be over. And over. It's just so annoying. Like, mm-hmm. thank God he's ready. I yeah. No, he's a good player. Good player, Brandon Marsh. Okay, is it my turn or your turn? Uh, I did the Trey one, but then it, did you do one in there? Was there a Brandon? Why well, the Trey thirty thirty? Okay, all right, good. So then I'll go again. Um, this is just like a rote one, but uh. Bryce Harper back over a thousand OPS this year. Only done it once as a Philly, ten forty four when he won. Uh, it's only done but, it a few but times. JT's it's tough. The team in RBIs. Yeah. <laughs> OPS. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Don't okay. Worry. I said the JT one was really more of a he's going to stick in the four hole prediction. Like he didn't. He had sixty three RBI last year, and there, you know, Schwarber was over hundred, so it's like so unlikely that he will lead the team in RBI. But I just I'm trying to make it bold. Over a hundred for Schwarber. Yeah. I was told he wasn't. No, he, not a big RBI guy. Yeah, well, for, for a leadoff mm, hitter. Who knew it? But that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, he had a hundred and hundred and four. Do you know? Oh, did not lead the team last year, though. You know, led the team last year. Bomber, Casty, one hundred and six. <laughs> wow, look Casty had hundred and six RBI last year. Wow, man. Yeah. He had a but better, he stinks. He had a better year Cat, than I like, thought. He, Casty last year. Yeah, twenty nine home runs. Batted two seventy two. Yeah, with twenty nine homers and one hundred and six RBI. Like pretty good player. <laughs> pretty good year, man. Like I'll take that. Again, it's just, it's so hard because... It's so ugly at times. It's like the guy is either good or the worst hitter you've ever seen in well, your his, life. Well, his OPSs by month are hilarious. Well, it's, it's, it's honestly, it's like we got rid of Reese and we got Reese back. It's like this, it, like at least, but at least Reese would, would... Walk. Yes. Reese never looked as bad because he would walk. Like Castellanos like, won't get on base for three weeks or whatever. It's like, what is happening? I know. I know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where I'm at with Bryce this year. Like... He, I, I just, I, I guess, I just expect three hundred thirty homers, ninety five RBI, and just another like you know the first base thing. I mean, could Bryce, Bryce gold mess glove? around and win Gold Glove? I mean, that uh, Schwarber said it I when know. he was with us. Yeah, I think I absolutely think. He, I, I just, mean, Bryce, 
Bryce is good at first base. He is good at first He's base. He's very he good one at error. Him. Yeah. He had one error in his whole time at first yeah. base last year. I just and I and I just the the I'm I'm worried about the back. Like I'm I am just, too. I'm well that's why I was so I was originally back. going to to do Bryce wins MVP. That was gonna be my original prediction and yeah. I backed off it. I, I just wonder. I wonder if they because I don't know if he'll play enough. Yeah, like I just feel like there's going to be a little load managing this year. Yeah, for that's why I went with that. That's literally why I went with like an average category one that's a you know does isn't based on on cumulative stats. That's I why, why why I was thinking thousand. But, but, but I think he's going to be really good when he plays. Always is what I'm trying to say. I just I I've become so <laughs> I'm so obsessed with his 500th home run. Yeah, that, like I need, where it's going to be. I yeah, need one gonna... of these like. 35, 40 home run seasons out of them. Yeah. Because just to like to, to make lock up for it the in. COVID year. Yeah, to lock it in. 